Mysterious, fierce, and ruthless women, causing a range of feelings, from fear to adoration, still excite modern men. What were they really like? Today we will talk about women warriors. This is a channel of learning the world. Let's go. They never forgave insults to anyone. And Herodotus, the father of history, as Cicero called him, in his treatise called them nothing less than killers of men. According to him, the tribes of Amazons, who lived on the banks of the river Firmadont, territory of modern Turkey, caused terror in Asia Minor and South Asia. Going on a campaign with fighting songs and dances led by Queen Lysippa, they reminded of unfriendly intentions even from afar. The Amazons swept away enemies on their way, surprising the men with their excellent military training and strictest discipline. These, to put it mildly, frantic in combat women did not know how to retreat. Yes, they did not like men, we can say, with the fibers of their souls hated the representatives of the stronger sex. Amazon stuck to one rigorous rule, mentioned by the author of the history Herodotus. The rule was, no girl should know a man until she kills her enemy. And who the first enemy of the Amazons, it is not difficult to guess. The brutal mores in the realm of women are still a shadow of horror in the memory of men. Men were for the Amazons some temporary material for the continuation of the race. Once a year, having completed their natural purpose, they died by the battle axes of the female warriors. Some, of course, were lucky. But conditionally. Some prisoners were turned into domestic nannies who looked after their own young daughters and carried all the household chores on their strong shoulders. It is true that later the Amazons abandoned this practice and tried not to cause any harm to the fathers-to-be. They even returned the newborn boys to the men so that they left the female warriors camp happy and satisfied. Antique authors never tired of praising the unparalleled courage of the Amazons who often participated in joint military campaigns with men. According to the Roman historian Dion Cassius, the emperor Commodus, known for his violent temper and insane behavior, went to the arena of the Colosseum and fought brutally with gladiators, as well as with beasts. When he defeated them with his sword he caused the senators and spectators to shout, You are the ruler of the world. In your glory you are like the Amazons. By the way, the great Homer did not like the Amazons and in his tales of the Argonauts made warriors furies disgusting and repulsive creatures. Maybe, the blind poet believed the rumor that they cut off their left breast, so that it did not interfere with apt archery. And, they say, they try to expel all that is feminine and attractive in them. We can hardly agree with this opinion, because the ancient Greek painters depicted the Amazons as beautiful women, not devoid of sexual charm. One day the queen of the Amazons, Philestra, came to Alexander the Great's camp with an unusual proposal. This is how the ancient Greek historian Diodorus of Sicily describes this event in his book. Struck by the beauty of a warrior, the great commander heard the following words, I have come to give you a son, and if a daughter is born to take her for myself, because there is no woman above me in strength and courage, and no man more glorious than you. However, the first bright impression of the meeting with the queen did not prevent Alexander the Great from almost completely destroying the tribes of the Amazons and scattering them around the world. Some time will pass, and these unusual, mysterious women will no longer appear in any corner of the earth. They will disappear, leaving behind a bright unforgettable trace and myths about their glorious past. And it seems that with each passing century, they become surrounded by fantastic details, in which few people believe. Perhaps this is created for one noble purpose, women are ashamed that they were once very cruel, and men do not want to believe that they were once mercilessly beaten and walked under their heels. Archaeologists, who from time to time find burials that testify to the real existence of Amazons, fundamentally disagree with such an opinion. That's all for today. If you like the video, like it and don't forget to subscribe. Bye everyone.